Hello, my name is Rakesh Rao from Bangalore. Today I'm going to show you how you can create sequentially incrementing text using the text counter command in CatPower. The text counter command is available from the CatPower pull down menu under the text section. Go to creation and click on draw quick text or running numbers. You can also start this command from the command line by typing cp underscore tc. Type S to go into the settings dialog box and here you can completely control the way in which you want your incrementing text to be created. I'll set the increment type as numeric and I'll set the starting num number as 1. Uh, the height is 5 and the rotation angle is 0 and say OK. Now let's say if I want to number these lots, so I just go clicking one by one and the TZ command is going to place incrementing text. This is a very convenient way to create running text numbers which is one of the most common operations in any CAD editing. You can also change the type of increment to character. So if you choose character and then I specify a starting value as A and then I get character incrementing series like A, B, C, D and so on. You can go to settings and change a lot of other things. For example, I'm going to put a prefix. So I want to put lot number as a prefix. And then I get lot number in front of the text. Similarly, I can go and add a suffix as well. So let's call this as phase two. And I'm going to go back to increment integer text. Starting value is 100. And I want to do that for these lots. So it's very easy to build my text string using the combination of character increments or numeric increments, prefixes and suffixes. There are more options in this command. For example, instead of text, I could use block attributes as well. So I'm using a balloon block as, uh, as the block name and index as the attribute which are already defined in this drawing. And I'm going to show you how you can create incrementing text attributes. Uh, let us remove the prefix and suffix in this case and go back to character increments. Starting value is say, AA. So what, what I get now are block inserts whose attribute value is incrementing as per the character increment set in text counter. There is another way in which you can create incrementing text and that is using block attributes. We go to text creation, go to settings and choose block attributes as the counter object to create. I select balloon block as my block and index as the attribute that I need to increment and I'm going to set the starting value as AA and the rotation angle 0, text height is 5, that's all fine. So as I click, now I get blocks which are inserted with a scale factor as specified and the attribute values are automatically incrementing. Even here you can add suffix and prefix and have finer control over your attribute. Okay, I have now created these blocks which have incrementing character attributes starting from AA up to AJ. And let us say that I now want to update this whole series to a completely new number. So I go back to settings and click on update underlying object if present. There's also a setting here which asks me how much is the search distance for the underlying object. I need to set this distance correctly because that determines how much text counter is going to search around the point that I pick. So I'm going to set it as 1 which is approximately the size of each block here and I click I set the starting of my new series which is BA I click OK and all I need to do is just go clicking the blocks one by one. So you can see that the attributes automatically get adjusted to the new number. So that is how you can update and change the attributes once it has already been created. There are more options in text counter command. 
for example there's something called insert in existing series and delete from existing series now let us go back to the numeric text option and let's put the starting value as 500 text counter and I'm going to revert back to text objects and I'm going to create a series 501 to 510 if I want to introduce a new number in between and I want that the rest of the text should automatically update itself text counter has an option for that so we choose insert in existing series and I'm going to select one of the items I want to insert 506 a new item after this so I click on this object and give it a new position so this becomes 506 now I want all the other items from 506 up to 510 to get automatically updated so I'm going to select them by layer with the dot option here you can see that all these texts have automatically get updated you can do